I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. And when I say you're going to learn something today, usually I mean troubleshooting, some new beta flight feature, head tuning, etc. But what I'm making a video about today is just a new firmware. Rapid Fire has released a new firmware update. But they finally did something that I've wanted for so freaking long that I was just like, okay, Rapid Fire, I'm making a video about your stupid firmware update. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to see what this new feature of Rapid Fire's firmware update is that made me make a whole video just about it. And if you have Rapid Fire, I think you're already interested. And if you don't have Rapid Fire, stick around because you know, what, what is Rapid Fire doing? What's all the hype about? Well, let's talk a little bit about it. One of the features of Rapid Fire has always been that it has in-goggle OSD. And you can see in my DVR right now that it's showing the RSSI bars, the signal strength for each of the two antennas. And that's cool. But I have always been annoyed that Rapid Fire made you take the goggles off in order to change channels. Rapid Fire addressed that. They addressed that in a firmware update not too long ago. And so you can see if I press up or down on the joystick, I get this screen, which shows all of the channels. And in addition to the channels, it shows the RSSI on each channel so that I can, uh, you know, I can easily see which channel someone's transmitting on. Now that's not bad, but if I want to do anything else in the rapid fire, I still have to take the freaking goggles off. And that has always bugged me. Uh, modules like the Forge was the first to do it that I know of, put the entire goggle menu in the OSD. So you can do literally anything you want to do from the screen without taking the goggles off your face. And the new TrueDX module from Furious also has that same feature. The whole menu is replicated inside the OSD. Well, I'm happy to point out that now so does rapid fire. So if I click down to go into the menu, boom, there it is. And I'm basically just looking at the exact menu right there in the goggles, including I can do the spectrum analyzer. It's essentially a duplicate of the screen right there in the middle of your goggles. Pretty slick. So that's it. No, that's really cool. This is one of the last things about rapid fire that just really annoyed the crap out of me and made me, well, I still, I still use it. It's still the best, but <laughs> it was the last little usability thing that bugged me. There is actually one more and I'm putting it in this video because I think the louder I shout it and put it out there, the more likely it is that Immersion RC will actually do it. The last thing I want is I want to be able to see as I'm changing channels, I want to see the video at the same on the channel at the same time that I'm seeing the signal strength and changing channels. That way I can quickly flip through the channels and if I just see somebody's feed, I can stop as opposed to having to do it like this. Uh, there are various reasons why that's actually hard to do. The biggest reason is that you can't draw the OSD unless you know what the sync pulse is uh, for the video. And when they're static or you can, don't have a sync pulse to draw over, um, I hope that maybe somehow they'll figure out a way to overcome that. Maybe so. But until then, I am super pleased with this module. And I have to say, I've been testing this module versus other modules out there for quite a while now. And I know that sometimes one um, another module does better in a particular test. But I got to tell you, overall, Rapid Fire it just consistently wins. And I use it all it's just the only goggle I want uh, module I want in my goggles I really think it's the best it's also like $160 it's super expensive compared to other things that are out there is it good enough to justify that price only you can answer that question but if you have $160 to spend and you want what I think is absolutely the best module out there it's rapid fire and it most of the time I just show you the results and I let you decide and I still do that but I just feel so strongly that this is such a good module. And I feel like there's a, some characteristics of using it that maybe the test results don't capture. Um, so I want to make a statement and say, this is the module that I personally think is the best. If you disagree, you can check my data and you can decide if you agree. But there you go. Okay, rapid fire, firmware update. If you need to make this firmware update, then I have a video showing you how to do it. I'll put a link down in the video description. It's super easy. Just download the firmware updater, plug it in, flash the firmware. And you really want to do that because Immersion RC is 
the, at the beginning, when the module first came out, there were some problems with its performance and they have mostly been fixed through firmware updates. So if you haven't been updating your firmware, you need to get on it. But then they just keep adding really awesome new features like this and I couldn't be happier. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Happy flying.